cave art is really important because it gives us incredible insight into the lives of our ancestors that lived before written history existed, and sometimes even before language existed. And sometimes this art can give us insight into the future of man and what is to come. Let's take a trip to the distant past as we cover part two of the top 10 terrifying cave paintings that predicted the future. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have the Neanderthal art. Back in 2018, it was announced that one of the oldest ever known cave paintings made by Neanderthals was found in the Spanish caves of La Pasiega, Maltaviso, and Ardales. This art is said to be around 64,000 years old, and to be honest, it's quite abstract, which may not be all that surprising. Archaeologists found things like drawings of ladder like lines, hand stencils, and a stalagmite structure decorated with ochre. It is thought that the Neanderthals that created this art left it in a location that they viewed as special. I mean, many of the hand stencils appear in this smaller, hard to reach area of the cave, which means that the person who made them would have had to prepare not only the pigment, but also some sort of source of light prior to entering the cave. It was certainly a deliberate act. My favorite thing about this art though is the symbolism. It is said that, quote, the significance of the painting is not to know that Neanderthals could paint, it's the fact that they were engaging in symbolism, and that's probably related to an ability to have language. Like, basically this was almost their way of communicating. This was their way of leaving behind a story. I don't know. I just think that's very cool and also a very important stepping stone in terms of early language development. It is said that researchers are looking into the acoustics of the area now where the cave art is located because they are interested to see whether the placement of the art had anything to do with the sounds people could make or hear in the particular spot. In our number 9 spot today we have the Bimbetka rock shelters. There are a collection of rock shelters that are known in central India known as the Bimbetka and they contain over 600 different paintings that span through the prehistoric Paleolithic and Mesolithic periods, which is truly unbelievable. The oldest of all of the paintings that can be found here is thought to date back to around 12,000 years ago. The paintings here are basically what you'd expect as it reflects the sort of lives around the people who made them. The paintings show us a glimpse into what their lives looked like, and they also show an array of animals that these people crossed, such as tigers, lions, and crocodiles. One really exceptional thing about this art is that it shows us the sort of transition into the stone age that these people had. The art moves from depicting dances and rituals to hunting scenes with the tools that they were able to create. It gives us just a tiny glimpse into the evolution of humankind in that area all those years ago. In our number 8 spot today we have the Tadvart Akakis. Probably said that horribly wrong. <laughs> This is a mountain range that is located in the Sahara Desert of western Libya, and I guess the art is more rock art than cave art, but I mean, it's all incredibly fascinating regardless of where the rocks reside. Some of the art that can be found here is said to date back to at least 14,000 years ago, and most of the paintings or carvings are of animals that were in the area, such as giraffes, elephants, ostriches, and camels, but also of men and horses. The art found here was created over quite a span of time which gives us a remarkable insight into the changes that happened throughout these years. The changes in the fauna and flora but also the changes in the way of life of those who made them. They showed the differences of the different populations that ended up succeeding each other in the area and region of the Sahara. In our number 7 spot today we have Uber. This location is a group of rock outcrops that are located in the Kakadu National Park which is a protected area in the Northern Territory of Australia. This location is likely to have become the site that it it is due to the large rock overhangs which would have provided the perfect shelter for the indigenous people of the land for thousands of years. It's super cool to think about why these early humans chose these specific spots for their art and I mean this one totally makes sense. Some of the art here is said to be 20,000 years old and most of it depicts different animals such as catfish, snake necked turtles, pig nose turtles, rock haunting ringtail possums, wallabies, and even a Tasmanian tiger. Tiger. Along with the extensive amount of rock art that could be seen here, there is also art that was found that was painted on the skeletons of animals in the area too, which is 
absolutely captivating and very intriguing. In our number six spot today, we have the Altamira Cave. This cave is located in Spain and it was renowned for the prehistoric art that it features. There are charcoal drawings and polychrome paintings that show some more contemporary and local fauna, as well as human hands. This art is striking and it truly is incredible, but another reason why this art is so exceptional is the fact that it was the first European cave paintings for which prehistoric origin was suggested. Many people disputed this for quite a while because it was thought that prehistoric humans weren't capable of abstract thought, but this was later disproved by similar art found years later that showed that it is absolutely possible that the early humans had these sort of capabilities. It is said that the earliest of the paintings found here can date back to the Upper Paleolithic period 36,000 years ago. In our number 5 spot today we have hand and footprints. Quite recently, a team of international scientists uncovered a pair of ancient hand and footprints that really changed our way of thinking and our understanding of early cave art. These impressions were discovered at the Tibetan Plateau and are thought to be somewhere between 169,000 to 226,000 years old, making them quite possibly the oldest art ever discovered. What's more is that they believe that this art was actually made by children. These hand and foot impressions appear to have been placed intentionally on an area of soft travertine, which is a form of terrestrial limestone. This travertine was deposited by water from what is now an inactive hot spring, but over time as the travertine transformed into stone, it preserved these small hand and footprints. You might be wondering how we can determine hand and footprints as art, but experts say that we can determine this because the traces were not made during normal movement or to stabilize motion and because quote, care appears to have been taken with the composition, they qualify as an early act of cave art. In our number 4 spot today we have the Romanelli cave art. This art was found quite recently in the Romanelli cave which is located in Italy. The first art in this cave was discovered more than 100 years ago so these newer findings of this stone age art really is quite the discovery. This cave is located on Italy's southeast coast and is just 7 meters above the Adriatic Sea which has made exploration of the cave quite difficult in the past. There was actually a collapse that happened inside of the cave which created more difficulties in the search. Through excavation of the cave, researchers have found deposits of animal bones, a small quantity of human bones, and several portable art objects such as stone fragments, and of course, the thing we're all here for today, just the art. The art that was found here includes a bovid, some geometric patterns which were made using quote moon milk, which is a soft white material that builds up in limestone caves, and art that depicts a bird, which is rare as birds were not usually depicted in the art that was normally found in the area during this time. The discovery gave some very valuable insights as the fact that some of the images are layered over one another has shown that this cave was used for a much longer period of time than what was previously thought. In our number 3 spot today we have have the cave of El Castillo. The cave of the castle is a stone age rock shelter that is located in Spain and it holds some of the oldest cave paintings we have ever found. The most notable of all of the art found here is referred to as the gallery of hands which is a panel of abstract signs and hand stencil rock art that has been dated back to around 39,000 years ago. The lengthy cave holds over 100 different images such as several rock engravings of deer as well as images of other animals that would have been in the area like bison goats, horses, and aurochs, which are a now extinct species. There are even images found in the cave of dogs, which is actually extremely rare in prehistoric cave art. Right now, it is debated whether it was Neanderthals that were responsible for this cave art, or if it was Homo sapiens after all, and to be honest, I mean, it could go either way. In our number 2 spot today, we have the Fumain Cave. The cave art that exists here is an important source of art that was created during the Upper Paleolithic period, and this cave is home to some of the oldest stone art that can be found in Italy. Many of these paintings were created using red ochre, and it includes, of course, depictions of animals, but also of sort of half-animal, half-human hybrids, which may symbolize some sort of belief system, or perhaps even mythology that existed at the time. It's hard for us to say for sure, but it certainly is a reflection of some sort of belief system that existed at the time. This is not only some of the oldest figurative cave art that can be found, but it also helped us to shed light on the contributions of both Neanderthals and modern man to Stone Age art during this time period. According to Alberto Broglio, professor of paleontology at the University of Ferrara, evidence obtained from this cave shows that there was a clean break between Neanderthal and modern humans, both in their culture and 
and their lifestyle. In our number one spot today, we have the Chevette Cave. This cave is located in southern France and it contains some of the best and most well preserved cave paintings that have been discovered to date, which truly is incredible. It isn't quite clear exactly when these paintings were made, and that's actually quite a source of debate among experts. It is known, however, that this cave definitely holds some of the oldest discovered cave paintings, some of which are thought to possibly be 30,000 years old. Most of these paintings consist of different animals, and there are actually no complete human figures seen here. There are a few panels of red ochre handprints and hand stencils, and a ton of abstract lines and dots that can be found throughout the cave. I could honestly talk about these specific cave paintings for an entire video, they're so interesting. One drawing seen here, which was later overlaid with a drawing of a deer, is sort of reminiscent of a volcano spewing lava, which was similar to the regional volcanoes that were active at the time, and if confirmed, this would represent the earliest known drawing of a volcanic eruption. Not only this, but those who created the art here used techniques that are very rarely seen in any other cave art. Like they scraped the walls of debris before starting so as to give them a more blank canvas to work on. That's simply amazing. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thank you so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, kitchen. Hi Jen. What's up? Hi Jen. Cave paintings too. The future. What does it hold? We're about to find out. That's my intro, imagine. <laughs> La Pasiega. And Multiviso and Ardales. And Ardales. Like, that sounds so. These beautiful names and then Ardales. <laughs> who knows, really? <laughs> Jen's probably just like dying laughing right now. Not, both of us, one brain cell. Tad Rat Acaucus. <laughs> tad, Tad, Tad Rart, Tad Rart. Tad, Tad Rart. F my life. <laughs> what? Is it a cacus instead of cup? A cacus? A ca you don't like the word c Chris? Mm -hmm. Chris. A caucus. <laughs> a cacus? It's not better. Cock cockadoo. I mean, how else would you say that, you know? Um, what? Cacadoo? Cacadoo? Cockadoo? Cacadoo? In some national park? <laughs> Which is apt to. Blah, 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 blah.